Our first speaker today is a third grade teacher from the LeBron James Family Foundation's I Promise School in Akron, Ohio, as part of the Akron Public School System. She's in her fifth year of education in an urban setting, and she's here to share how she and other teachers in her school are using the power of social and emotional learning to make a difference every day and share the impact it's having on our students. Take it away, Jessica. The I Promise School was created thanks to a partnership between the LeBron James Family Foundation and Akron Public Schools. This partnership began seven years ago. The foundation wanted to work to reach their scholars both academically and social and emotionally. However, this was challenging with having our scholars across the district. Therefore, they knew that the next steps was going to be to create all of one school for all of its scholars, and that was the I Promise School. Scholars are selected to attend the I Promise School based on a lottery system. Those who have trend data that show that they are reading at the 25th percentile or lower by the middle of second grade are placed into a lottery. There were approximately 600 scholars that fell into this category. However, that number just was not sustainable. Therefore, 120 scholars were randomly selected through this lottery to attend. Scholars and their families attended a meeting during the middle of their second grade year to finalize their enrollment into I Promise. We strive to ensure that our school encompasses students from all of our clusters to create a balance. All of the staff at the I Promise School have a similar belief, and that is, that we create an environment that is loving and compassionate for our scholars and our families, and that is of the utmost importance. At the I Promise School, we focus on five habits of promise, and that is to help our scholars acquire qualities that will help them become strong community members. Those habits of promise are perseverance, perspective, problem solver, partner, and perpetual learner. At the beginning of the school year, we try to teach these habits of promise to explicitly show them what these words are, what they mean, and examples of them. But then we stretch our scholars to recognize these habits of promise within themselves and others and understand that these are habits that are going to carry them through all walks of life. The I Promise School has three guiding principles, one being trauma-informed and responsive, meaning that we support the whole child and we strive to create an environment that encompasses their social and emotional needs and respect what they have experienced trauma-wise before coming to us. Therefore, we are very mindful of all of their needs, social and emotionally. Our promise circles that we conduct each day is similar to a restorative circle, and this came because of the LeBron James Family Foundation's initial plans to starting our school. We start by listening to a song that I have chosen for that specific day. The song's themes typically tend to be inspirational, motivational, or encouraging, and I try to select songs from a variety of genres to allow for a cultural exposure. But before listening, I always share that you can have your eyes opened or closed, your heads can be up or down, but be comfortable with where you are. Notice what you're feeling going through your mind and your body and become aware of it. And prepare your mind and your body for the day that awaits you ahead. And after listening to the song, we transition into sharing our promise for the day. We pass around a healing drum to identify the speaker, and I prompt our sharing with, what can you do today to demonstrate the best version of you? No matter where you are, who you're with, or what you're doing, what are you going to do to be better? And the scholars at the beginning of the year are definitely reluctant to share, but gradually they all begin to share. Sometimes they share with just a beat on the drum, but they always encourage one another. Scholars decide their promise and they greatly differ. Sometimes scholars will select promises based off of the habits, and they usually choose the ones that they know they struggle with the most. Other times, the scholars will choose to share a promise that, of something that happened the day before and how they want to fix that for this present day and they want to make themselves better. But what's really neat is that other times scholars will share something that maybe happened at home or on the bus or on their way into the classroom and they'll share how this has disrupted their peace and they'll ask their classmates for help and strategies to get them going. And it's really neat because we make sure that our words are not worthless and we put action behind them. And so we hold a promise circle in the middle of our day to do a check-in and a share out. And it's really amazing because our scholars will hold one another, and myself included, accountable, 
saying, now don't forget your promise for the day, or maybe you should try going to the cool down corner so that you can get yourself back on track for your promise. And the accountability is amazing. I get to share my promise with them, and I expect them to hold me accountable for my promise as well, and they do exactly that. After learning about Microsoft's Hacking STEM lessons, I was extremely excited, and I felt so inspired and motivated to make these unique learning experiences happen for my scholars, and I wanted my team to feel the same way. We plan to complete the Brain Bomb Unit within our third grade scholars. And this particular unit was about the brain, and it was extremely important because of the social and emotional connections and learning that we strive to create within our learning environment. Our scholars can always feel the emotions surging through their bodies. They can feel their reactions, and sometimes they can even identify the triggers that are causing these emotions. However, they don't understand that this is happening because of the functions of the brain. Therefore, understanding their brain and the functions of it and why this is happening to me and why I'm demonstrating these emotions is so important. When you understand the system that is running you, you respect it. And this unit was initially created for 6th through 8th graders and planned for 50 minutes for a, for a week session. However, this learning experience was going to need to be redefined if my scholars were going to be successful and if it was going to be made functional for my teaching team. So I found all of the components to be important and valuable. So I decided to use the entire unit of the Brain Gong lesson. However, what I did first was I printed out the student guides and I printed off the teacher guides and I highlighted and made marginalia. But the one thing that I kept in the forefront of my mind while planning was making sure I understood the lesson's objectives. So then I used PowerPoint to create the slides in an easy to read layout for the entire unit. The slides took on different purposes. Some of them were for teacher reference, others were for student reference, and sometimes it was even just to drive discussion or inquiry. For instance, the first lesson covered the introduction, the prior knowledge, and the vocabulary, and all of these things were vital pieces for my scholars to be successful moving forward. So we decided to start with a hook where scholars had a chance to put a peach in a jar and slam it against each side repeatedly. And then they completed with their group what happened to the peach both before and after the, the accident. Next, we had the opportunity to use the discussion questions from the lesson, but we put it into a KWL chart, which is something that my scholars are extremely familiar with and definitely developmentally appropriate for them. And in addition to that, to make sure that they understood the vocabulary, we did sort of like a jigsaw within our classroom where they had the opportunity to pick a word and use that word and dig into it deep, but then they taught the entire class that vocabulary. This entire unit was extremely beneficial, but one of my scholars' favorite parts was creating the brain hats. And those brain hats were amazing because they were able to color code and see the functions of the brain and the different sections. And even later, after the conclusion of this unit, uh, they were able to reference the different parts of their brains as they were participating in different activities. And that is just amazing. Scholars had ample opportunities to truly engage in active learning. And that was driven by their own inquiries, their drive to understand those personal connections as to why their body and their social and emotional learning and their brain were working all together and how that was happening. And this is vital for our scholars to have social and emotional learning be a part of their school day. I've witnessed the effects and it truly is amazing. And they are becoming stronger individuals and they're putting themselves into a mindset that is letting them be able to be strong learners. With this innovative STEM curriculum like Hacking STEM and the We Are Family philosophy that the LeBron James Family Foundation has created, we have found an incredible recipe for success at the I Promise School. And in one year's time, our scholars have shown amazing growth. And in our winter map, they have shown 90% either meeting or exceeding their expected growth. And we expected to see this, but not in such a short time period. 
It truly is remarkable and special things are happening at the I Promise School. And our scholars don't get your typical summer. They get to do a four week program of hands on learning and innovative curriculum. And it's exciting and we're excited for them to continue their social and emotional learning along with this innovative curriculum throughout their summer. And I'm encouraging you to implement that social and emotional learning within your classroom because you truly have nothing to lose but everything to gain for both your scholars and yourself. So please try that today. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jessica. I'm really amazed by your focus on social and emotional learning and the impact that you're making by modifying the Hacking STEM curriculum to make a big difference on the lives of your students.